Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, so I've spent a bit of time, before starting the recording, to go over everything that's going on in my base, and what exactly I want to do next, and I figured some things out. Yeah, a lot of people have been posting advice in the comments of the previous videos, thank you everyone for doing that. I might forget like half of the advice, but at least some of it is probably going to stick. <laughs> so... Yeah, I've been looking over everything, and there's a bunch of things I'm going to do. So, number one is I'm not going to focus on doing the main quest at all right now. Right now my objective is capture an outsider alien, I'm not going to do that. Right now I need to basically focus on what I have and kind of just... I guess you could say grind. That's not to imply that it's not going to be fun, but... I'm not going to be trying to complete the main mission, I just need to... I just need to increase my powers and increase my soldiers and just build stuff and make money, basically. And I believe if I progress the main quest, the enemies are probably going to get harder, so I need to get better before that happens. Which is why I'm not going to touch it for a little bit. So I'm just going to focus on upgrading my people. I need, I need more people. I don't have enough. Like... I mean, here's what I have. I have two supports. That's good. Two supports, two assaults, two snipers, and two mechs. But I only have one heavy. And to make it worse, I've realized that my choice... Where was it? Yeah, my choice to take suppression over shredder rocket may not have been a good idea. I'm realizing now that, now that I've fought very powerful enemies, like the Cyberdisc and the, the Mechtoid, that having a rocket that will increase the damage that an enemy takes by 33%, like the shredder rocket does, for the next four turns, is incredibly valuable. Y you can just imagine. You're fighting one or maybe two huge enemies, you fire this rocket, and then everybody else will do a ton more damage. It's incredibly valuable for taking out these large HP targets. And suppression is something that I just don't use very often. So, yeah, I think that was a mistake, so... And I only have one heavy. So I'm going to get... Get more people, hopefully get a heavy, and the next heavy I get, I'm going to take the Shredder Rocket. I just need more people in general. I really do, even though I have two of each except for the heavy. It's not enough. I need more. Also, another thing I'm going to do is, soon, at some point, I'm going to get this Iron Will. Soldiers receive a larger will bonus each time they are promoted. Because I've realized having a low will is going to be a problem later on in the game. When you start getting into a lot of Psy things and Psy enemies that can take control of your characters, and uh, there's just a bunch of stuff that you want high will for. However, the, the thing about that, they receive a larger will bonus when promoted, is what that does. So that only applies to new people. So the people that are already a very high rank are really not going to benefit from that very much at all. So that's why I really need some new blood. So let's just take a look at everything that's going on. So Alien Nav Computer will be almost, it's almost done. Not sure that's going to get me, but that's cool. I want to give Mimetic Skin to my other Assault Trooper. To... Faye Ochner. But it's kind of expensive, and I want to save my money for... Building Satellites. My uplink will be done in six days. I want to save my money for Satellites because... As you can see the Situation Room, things are not going all that great. Mexico left. They packed their bags and left. And Canada and Russia is freaking out. So I really need Satellites. This is why I need to stop and just focus on what I have. I just need to build satellites, take control of all of the panic, upgrade my soldiers, and just, just do stuff like that. So at the moment, I'm just going to save my money because I need to buy satellites, but then soon I'm going to be buying armor and getting gene upgrades and stuff. Yeah. Also, another thing I need to do, by the way, is... Where is it? There we go. Chitin plating is something I very much need. It turns out, this is basically just an upgraded... It's like an upgraded nanofiber vest. It goes into the same slot, I believe. However, instead of just doing two extra health like the nanofiber vest, it will... give you four health and reduce the damage from melee attacks. It even says in the description it's also sturdy enough to provide a strangulation countermeasure. Now, I don't know if that's actually true, because it doesn't actually list that as a feature here. 
Maybe it, they just wrote that in, but they forgot to add it, or maybe they added it, but forget, forgot to write it into the tactical info here. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a hell of a lot better. The only problem is I don't have enough chrysalid corpses to even get one. And also, it's expensive as hell. So that's going to have to wait. But I definitely want this. I can't build another satellite, right? No. So yes, at the moment, just wait and train new troops. But I'm going to be spending a lot of money very soon. So what's happening next? Council report in 12 days. Excellent. That's going to give me 543 monies. Yeah, at the moment, my best sniper and my best assault are unfortunately wounded, but they'll be back into action pretty soon. So let's just wait and see what happens. Nav computer done. Alright, what does that do? Satellite Nexus available for construction. Ooh! Stealth satellites. What is that? With the signal monitored by a team of engineers, each satellite Nexus is capable of receiving transmissions from four XCOM satellites. Okay, so it's a double satellite. A double satellite uplink. It does four instead of two. But it only takes one slot. Okay, that is amazing. It's like a it's like the thermo or thermal generator. Same idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This can make the satellites much harder to detect if the aliens were to go looking for them. Okay. That's cool, I, I guess. What is this? Plasma rifle. Eh, I don't need to get into plasma stuff yet. I don't think. I mean, I just got everybody with laser weapons, so I think we're good for now. Skeleton suit. What does it do? Climbing grapple? Hmm. Could be good. Could be really good. I can't... I can't remember exactly what it does. I know it allows you to get up to places that you couldn't otherwise get up to. But what does this do? Oh, you can use this to increase the capabilities of our mechs. And our fighter craft. But who gives a shit about the fighter craft? The mechs. Ooh. Eh, I'm gonna do the UFO power source. Skeleton suit just doesn't sound as cool. I really want to get some upgrades for my mechs. Because I haven't been able to upgrade them at all yet. I just see the sad little thing. Cannot upgrade. Missing research. Aww. Back to waiting. Actually, wait a minute. What does the satellite nexus cost? It costs a shitload of everything. Holy shit, that is expensive. Also, it requires 35 engineers. And I have 27, so nope, that's not happening anytime soon. Oh, Izelli is back. Okay. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Right. Oh, great. Very difficult, difficult, and very difficult. Well, I'm fucked. Oh, I hate these decisions! <sighs> this is the one I want the most, because it gives me money and I need money. I don't need- I don't really need another assault, although, it, of course, it wouldn't hurt. But... It's very difficult, and it has the worst panic. I, I need to reduce the panic here, though. I have to. I, I can't- I can't lose people. I've got to- I've got to take this, even though it's the reward I don't really want, and it's very difficult, I need to take it for the panic alone. I've already lost Mex Mexico. Yeah, I've got to do it. The problem is, though, I keep getting these crazy difficult missions. Which means I can't take newbies on it. There's no way I can take a newbie on this. It's, it's too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Okay. Let's see. So, my mechs are good. There's there's nothing I can give them. Nope. Who do I want to take? I need my support. I need my only heavy. I need an assault. You're my only assault because arrow is still out, unfortunately. Um, Spectre? I love you. You're cool. But I need my best on this one. So, I'm going to put in Izelli. God, she looks badass, doesn't she? Just shirtless. I mean, not shirt. <laughs> shirtless. <laughs> Let me try that again. Sleeveless. 
<laughs> with a gigantic weapon and awesome armor. Going into battle shirtless would not look badass. That would look stupid. All right. Um, I do want to use an arc thrower to capture stuff, but on a very difficult mission, honestly, I don't care. Like, this isn't going to help me solve the mission at all, and in a very difficult mission, I don't think I'm going to care about trying to capture anything. I'll save that for easier missions, so let's give you... Hold on, let's free up stuff. What can I give you? A scope would be way better than an arc thrower. Let's do that. Yeah, I, I can save the arc thrower stuff and the training of newbies for easy missions. Not for this. So you've got your medkits, and you've got your scope, and your laser rifle, and the carapace armor. Good to go, good to go, good to go. You, you don't have the right sniper rifle. There you go. Would have been horrible if I forgot that. You got the scope, that's good. What else should I give you? Grenade? <laughs> Sniper's never going to get to use a grenade. I'll give you the nanofiber vest. Got to make sure I have this right. Alright, you've got the, the rail guns. Everybody has lasers. Yes. My assault has the scope and armor, the scope and armor, the med kit and scope. And the scope and armor. I think we're good to go. Right? Yes. All right. Ah, <sighs> very difficult mission. Here we go. I need to refamiliarize myself with the abilities the abilities my troops actually have cuz I don't really remember exactly. I know, unfortunately, that my current assault does not have Mimetic Skin. He's the one I want to give Mimetic Skin to. Because an assault with Mimetic Skin is about the best thing ever. France is sending an urgent mission request. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from cities around the world. You'll be deploying at the site of the latest report. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully I don't die in France. No, oh, apparently it's the town of Lille, 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 maybe it's Lille. We're gonna die. Oh, I didn't even look at the mission name, it's probably something horrible. Like, gasping breath. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Correction, that is not a solid copy, Big Sky. That is a liquid copy. I repeat, that is a liquid copy. Alright, let me familiarize myself with what the hell I actually have here. It's been like three or four days since I've played. Which, of course, means I've forgotten everything. Okay. Ah, uh, so, right. I got the flamethrower dude with the jet boot module, and then I have the punchy dude with the jet boot module. Cool, cool, cool. My support has a mean smoke grenade. That gives plus 40 to defense. I think... Where is it? Deep, deep pocket? What is deep pocket? Let's look at this. Covering fire. So it triggers on enemy attacks. Reaction fire. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're my medic. Deep pockets, deep pockets. All limited use items in your inventory receive one extra use. Oh, that's why you have four uses of revive. Unfortunately, the smoke grenade does not count because that's not an item, but rather an ability. Okay. And my heavy, you have heat ammo, so it's good against robots. You have suppression, and you have a super rocket. Very wide range, you can blow up some shit. Oh, you have bullet swarm too. Reduces all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. Mm hmm. Suppression, heat ammo, bullet swarm, which means you can shoot twice. This I still don't get. The. I mean, I get the increases rocket tile attack distance by two, but increases area of effect on suppression. I don't get that, because you use suppression against a single enemy. Enemy. It's not an area of effect thing, so I don't get what that means. Like, when you use suppression, you don't, you don't aim a bubble as if you're aiming a rocket like this. It's just used against a single enemy. But, anyway, you have the gene mod that allows you to jump up wherever the hell you want, and you have the disabling shot, and that's about it for the specials, I think. Mm 
Mm hmm. Pretty much that. And the last one is my assault, which has rapid fire and run and gun. What else do you have? Plus 10% critical hit chance per enemy in sight. Oh, yeah, lightning reflexes. First reaction shot against this unit will miss. And close combat specialist, which unfortunately is not particularly useful without mimetic skin, in my opinion. At least with how I would use him, I mean, I would never really put him in a place close enough where this, this could happen. Unless we get attacked by chrysalids, in which case it's going to happen regardless. Any melee unit, of course, will, will actually have a pretty good chance of triggering this, but the ranged ones, not so much. Right. Now, what do I do? Uh, if I had mimetic skin, I would send someone up to scout, but I don't, so nope. I guess my assault goes in first. Come on, Auchner. There's no need to be afraid. Of course, I have to dash to get anywhere. Well, except here. On my way. What, you know, really sucks is when you can't even get everyone into cover before you discover the first enemies. That blows. On a very difficult mission, I'm not even going to worry about the meld. I'm just going to go really careful. Really, really careful. Where should I go? Right? Middle? Left? Let's go right. Yeah, I feel like going right. If you go right, you can never be wrong. That's stupid. No, oh, well, and it happened. We're fucked. We're all gonna die. Goodbye, everyone. And you're in full cover. Behind an ATM? That's an ATM. <sighs> now might be the time to suppress, because, yeah, 38% chance to hit is bad. You're an assault, so your chance to hit is gonna be even worse. That is terrible. That is absolutely horrendous. T oh, wait, you can shoot from out in the open. Of course, if I leave you out in the open, that's rather... Ah, oh, that's a bad chance to hit. I could just disable his gun. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck, I thought the disabling shot was a guaranteed hit. It's not. It's a 40% chance to hit. It actually has a less percent chance to hit than the main weapon. Okay, uh... I should get you up there. You really need to hide advantage. Even though, unfortunately, she can't actually shoot him from there, but just, just, just hide. I could blow up your cover, which actually is probably the best thing to do. It, it probably is the best thing to do. Also, I don't want to clump my troops too much because I believe the mutons do have grenades. So that would be unwise. I can shoot over this thing, right? Right? I guess we're about to find out. Well, now we know the answer to that. Nope! But I can collateral damage over it, so that is absolutely what I'm doing. Let's just hold on for now, there's no reason to jump the gun. Hmm. You can punchy... No, 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 you're the punchy one. You're the flamethrower one. Might be able to get a shot off from here. You know what? Let's... Ah, fuck. See, I don't want to progress too far because I'm probably just going to encounter new enemies, which would be horrible. Like, I want to do the Jeppu module and just send him up here on the roof to maybe jump down and punch him in the face, but I'm probably just going to encounter new enemies if I do that. Or not, not punch him in the face, but flame them in the face. So, I think that would be unwise. Well, I need to get you into cover regardless. Where can I take a shot with you? Here. 
Let's put you here. You might be able to shoot from here. Maybe. Nope. All right, let's do this. Goodbye, cover. <laughs> now you're no cover at all. And you have six hit points. Just hit. That's not good. That's pretty good. But pretty good is not great. I also could do rapid fire. That's kind of a waste. Alright, let's just, um... Let's do this and just see where we stand. Are you gonna miss? Ah, uh, oh no, you didn't miss. Never mind. But you're not dead. 50% chance to hit. Uh, popping the smoke for this would be absurd. I only have one. I should save it for something horrible. It is a very difficult mission, so there's probably a cyber disc or something horribly nasty like that. Let's plop you here. Not too close for a grenade to hit you. Hopefully. I'm just gonna blow up everything. Just, just fucking die. Firing on target position. There we go. Of course, the other one's gonna pop up. And now these guys are almost out of ammo, but it's okay. Totally worth it. No reason to pop a smoke. Mm. Who's left? Get some Overwatch here. Should Overwatch you or hunker you down? You know, I think he needs to be closer to really have any say in this fight. So... I'm gonna move you up here. You'll be safe, and next turn I can move him up here, and you'll still be able to take a shot. I think he's more useful there, because I know, yeah, he's going to pop out, of course. Alright, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to miss, that's what you're going to, oh god. You missed a flanking shot? You incompetent fool. It missed a flanking shot. Oh, ooh, ooh, melt canister. Alright, let's go left after we defeat this dude. So, can I punch your face? No, I can't. Damn it. There's gotta be an ability that allows you to, like, run and gun, but with the kinetic strike. Because it would make him way more useful, to be honest. Even with the extra range he has, it's still, it's still not good enough to, uh, to do an effective melee strike. Alright. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, oh no, you're going up to my sniper! Fuck me! Don't fuck me, please don't fuck me. I'm feeling pretty fucked here, but I really don't want to be fucked. This overall has like a f roughly, f I don't know, maybe 50% chance to actually kill it. It would need to hit, which is a 70% chance, and then, if it hits, it has a 60% chance to get a critical, which is what it would need to actually kill it. And you're flanked. Which means if you miss, you're kinda gonna take a shit ton of damage. <sighs> I can't even do collateral damage because I've used up all my damn ammo. Alright, this is a job for a flamethrower, but unfortunately I'm nowhere near close enough to do anything like that. So... Wow, you really have a 47% chance to hit him Hit him up there. What can you do? Can you do anything useful? I could jet boot module. I might be able to kinetic strike. Uh, I don't think so. Alright. My mechs are kind of out of the game for this turn. Might have to smoke grenade. 
This, I think this is a smoke grenade situation. It's half cover. I'm not going to move out to half cover. I don't know what the fuck to do here. I don't know what the fuck to do here. Alright, I think I need to take out the person threatening my sniper. That would also get my assault in a good position to pull some shit next turn. But one of these mutons could just go up and shoot my assault next turn. So that would be bad. Fuck. This is horrible. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot about the rocket. The rocket. The rocket. Ooh. Blow up all the things. Does that seriously not actually hit the guy up there? This this can't be an accurate prediction. Like this the center of the blast is right next to that muton and it's seriously saying it's not going to hit him. That's bullshit. I've got to do this. Here we go. There's a bunch of other mutons there. Yep. 666. Six, six. Okay, now I can actually hit some of them. Because I can see them. I've revealed their position. Quite well. <laughs> You're not even in any cover. Hold on, maybe my sniper can take care of you. Oh, yes. Okay, guaranteed death. That's, that's the way to go. That'll take care of him up there. I could punch you. I could punch you. Do I need to punch you? It'd be fun to punch you, but maybe I should reload. Alright, well, Sniper needs to get snippin'. Goodbye. Snippity snoop, you're dead. <laughs> it was a crit, too. Right, two more to deal with. There might be a third one as well, but I can't see it. So, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't exist. Can you shoot twice? I don't think you can shoot twice. No, I mean, you can use rapid fire, but that's only against one enemy. Flamethrower from here would maybe reach the first one, but it definitely would not reach the next one. Fuck, I wish my mechs were just closer. I just wish they were closer. Can't even hit any of them. Hold on. Alright, just, uh, just move up and let's see what kind of a percent chance you have to hit. Oh, what the... <sighs> Dear God, help me. Dear God. Actually, that's about the best enemy you could possibly encounter. I'd actually prefer to encounter those enemies than sectoids. Because... They, they kind of suck. They don't really do much other than annoy you and steal one of your turns from one of your troops. Alright, well, you're in full cover? You bastard. Let's see, would that flamethrower reach? It would guarantee the death of one of them. But... The other one would be fine. So that blows. Hmm. What am I going to do with you lot? I can, ironically, I can flame this one to kill it. And I can also punch it, but I can't get the one in the back. But I could guarantee the one in the back's death by doing run and gun, so I guess I should probably do that, huh? Seems such a waste to use a flamethrower just to kill one enemy with two hit points. In fact, it's such a waste that I'm not going to do it. Punchy punchy time! This way I'm not using a special. What is the range on this thing, by the way? I'm assuming it's only just one tile. You need to be right next to him. This is free aiming. Maybe you just bust down walls even if you're not actually attacking an enemy? Oh, 
I don't know. But anyway, you're dead. Boom! That is so awesome. Blew up some more stuff. Wait, you can see two. Ah, oh, there's another one back there. Son of a bitch. Could I kill you? Nah, I couldn't kill you. I'm not even gonna try. Alright, who's left to deal with him? You have one turn. You can't hit anybody. You're useless, Graves. You're useless! Except when I need you. And when you need to revive someone. And when someone needs to be healed. And I need a smoke grenade. In those cases, you're, you're actually very useful. Well, I could flame my ally if I wanted to. That wouldn't be smart. What the fuck do I do with you? Flaming, useless. Jet boot, eh, useless. I could sprint you up closer, so you can do something next turn, but then you have limited ammo. I'm gonna reload him, actually. Yeah, I want, I want that collateral damage so I can take out someone's cover. I think that's gonna be more useful next turn. I honestly do. Okay. Um, I have a square of full cover here, but can I actually get the muton from here? Because there's another block here that's no cover. It, it looks like it's covered and this would block the way, but because it is not indicated as cover, I'm assuming that this won't really count when it comes to detecting whether I can actually round the corner and shoot him. So, this run and gun is either going to be a complete and utter failure, or it's going to work perfectly and I will be able to kill him with no problem and I will be in full cover. We're about to find out. Come on, please, I hope the game's logic works the way I think it does. Come on, 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 Yes, it does. There's no reason to use rapid fire, so goodbye. Kablamo! You're dead! <laughs> now, should I smoke my group? Who can I protect? I can protect someone who's in full cover. And a mech who doesn't really need protection. I don't think I need to. No, I'm just gonna overwatch. Again, I fought a lot of enemies, but these aren't huge enemies. I'm gonna save the smoke grenade for, like, a cyber disc, or... Are you gonna stay, bud? Oh! Fuck you! Yeah! Graves, I love you. Look at it wriggle around on the ground. Yeah. Oh my god, see, that's what I was saving the smoke grenade for! What the fuck? You can't shoot this turn, right? Oh, it's, it's an overwatch. And let me guess, I can see all the way across the map. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna... Oh. Oh! Oh. Right. Fuck. Goddamn flanking shot again. I shouldn't have put her there. <sighs> okay. So if I move anybody, they're gonna be shot in the... Well, I don't... Can the mechtoid even see me? I can't even see it. Can it see me from there? Will this overwatch have any effect? I could punch this thing in the face. Which would instantly kill it. But that probably would trigger an overwatch, but... Eh. What else am I gonna do? Is there any way I can kill this guy without triggering the overwatch? I could blow up its cover, but then who could shoot it? Honestly, I, I'm totally ignoring the meld canisters. I feel like I'm going to clear the map long before I could ever possibly get to a meld canister. I've had no time to breathe. I can't regroup and start heading towards it. It's just been one group of enemy being triggered after another. Like, I can get so many good shots off on it, but I'm just going to get shredded by the damn mechtoid thing. Sorry, I'm going crazy with the camera, I know. I should probably just punch it in the face. 
I probably should. And I need to heal you. Can you get there? Hmm. Let's... I could suppress you. But that doesn't really take care of the problem, it just... staves it off. Now nah, I gotta be proactive here. I, can I kill it through the wall? I think I can kill it through the wall. I better be able to, because that's what I'm going to try. That would keep me from triggering the Overwatch. I believe I can. Yeah. As oh god. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't trigger it, because I didn't move after it could see me, but look at that. We're having a stare down. And it has more hit points. And it can shoot twice. I wonder if I should throw a smoke on him. No, no, he's fine. He's meant to take shots to the face. He's good at it. He knows how to take shots to the face. I'm just thinking, should I heal Soul? Because if I heal Soul, I'm going to use two people's turns to do nothing but healing and moving. Rather than, say, overwatching, for example. Alright, one thing I know I need to do is move Izelli. Or do I? Shit, there's no cover here. I don't want to move her to the street. Actually, I should probably move her to the street. I mean... It's too dangerous to put her up here in half cover. Yeah, okay. Where am I going to move her where she has a pretty good chance of being able to actually shoot, like, through the building? That's pretty good. That's in full cover. Yeah, I think it's the best shot. Alright, let's do that. Can you see it? No, you can't, but you should be able to see it soon. Is there any point in hunkering down? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. She doesn't need to reload. And she can't do anything else, so that's good. I kind of want to just wait for it to come to us. I don't care about the meld canisters. Fuck the meld canisters on a very difficult mission. Nope. It's all half cover. I don't like it. See if the if the mechtoid comes around the corner, you are going to be flanked very badly. But I also need you up in it. Okay, what if I put you here? Let's put you here. Oh, fuck! Oh, you have lightning reflexes. You have lightning reflexes. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're fine, you're fine. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Chance of hitting. It's actually not bad. I could even... Double sh... No. That's something I should use when I get up... All up in his shit. Do I hunker down, or do I shoot? It's not a great chance, and it's not a bad chance. Hunkering down would be nice, but he's in full cover, and it's probably going to go for the dude that's not in any cover at all, so I'm going to shoot. <sighs> the target. Yes, you did. You are a grave disappointment. Alright, I'm going to throw a smoke in there. There's no way the, the mechtoid is really going to get any good shots off on us here, but they could get some shots off on these two. So, I'm going to toss a smoke. Yeah. Flashbang, out! I'm just kidding, it's a smoke grenade. Poison smoke grenade, out! I'm just kidding, it's not poison. 
And... Uh, I want you to get healed. I want you to get healed, but obviously you can't get healed this turn, so why don't you just move up a bit? So you can get healed next turn, maybe. And you're in full cover, and I will put you into... What? Overwatch? Is there a point in being overwatched? I mean, I don't think it's going to move enough. I'm going to hunger you down. You're too damaged. Alright. I'm going to do this. Moving to there we go. So hopefully you can jump down next turn. On your order. <laughs> You're such a badass. Please don't find new enemies. Please, no, no new enemies? Good. Alright. We should be good this turn. Oh, fuck. It mind melded. The mind meld is so goddamn powerful with that thing. Or, or did it? Wait, what did a mind meld with? You can't hit us, you can't hit us, you can't hit us, we're in smoke! You can't hit- oh, who are you shooting at? Oh. Oh, oh, it's just a normal sectoid mind meld. Okay. That went well. Now, can you jump down? You can. This little fucker back there. If I kill him, I kill two. Two for one. Which is nice. But there's probably better uses of my stuff. Okay, so I can get a flame on these two, which would do quite a bit of damage. It would kill that one and do six points of damage to you, which would take you down to 10, 14. So I could take you down to 14 hit points. And then I could do rapid fire, which, how much would a normal shot do? Okay, if I flame and rapid fire, there's a pretty good chance it's dead. So what are you going to do? Actually, I could just punch you. That wouldn't kill it, though. That'll do 12 points of damage. Okay, so I could flame punch, and just do a normal shot, and that would guarantee its death. Okay, oh god, so many combinations here. Hold on, let me take a look at what the other units can do. Anyone, can you take a shot? Oh, wow, that's actually a really good chance to hit. Unfortunately, you can't do anything. And what about you? Ooh, 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 disabling shot even. Nah, I can just kill it. Alright, um, let's just start here and see what you do. Crit, crit, crit! Another crit, but still good. And let's just work from here. So, 13 hit points. Oh man, if only it was 12, I could punch it to death. I'd like to take care of that back there, whatever the hell it is. Flame and then shoot. Would be good. I don't want to kill it. It's just a sectoid, though. I mean, it's puny. Going for maximum efficiency here. Um, okay, this is the only thing you can really do from here, so maybe I could... Yeah, let's do this. And then I'll punch it. This will be good, right? This is the right play, I think. Yeah, it's fine. What if I could destroy that sectoid's cover if I aim a little bit to the left? Let's try it. <laughs> That's so epic. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I didn't quite destroy its cover. Right. Now what? Oh, well, that's a pretty much a guaranteed death for the sectoid if I move it there. So who does that leave? You? Who should be healed but can't be healed this turn? You, who maybe could go for that sectoid.
All right. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move you here. Position confirmed. Maybe I don't even need to kill this sectoid. Maybe. In fact, I can guarantee it's death. Yeah, I don't even need to deal with the other sectoid. Uh, that's only 58% chance, but I can do this, which will destroy the car and guarantee its death. Goodbye. Targeting hostile. Kablamo. And you're dead. Please tell me that. <laughs> Look at the way it shot out. Is that the end of the mission? No, of course not. There's probably a fucking... S There's probably like a hive of cyber disks just floating in the air. Pretending to be birds. I want to move you up, but I want you to be in full cover. Because you're hurt. Where can I put you in full cover? Oh, this, this little shard of wall is in full cover? Damn. Ah, she's useless back here. She can't be in the fight back here. And if we move her up here, she can't possibly be healed next turn. Alright, um, I'll just put her here. And hunker her down. She'll be fine. That way we can move up a little bit and still heal next turn. You should... Uh, move up. And... Overwatch. Everything just explodes. Oh, fuck. Hey, I'm glad I moved, actually, because Soul probably would have been the one that got strangled. Well, this is easy. The question is, who do I give the experience to? Who do I give the experience to? Who? I can't really check the abilities trees. Uh, I guess I'll just do her. Operational objectives completed. That was it? That was the last enemy? Just the freaking... Uh, the hell's that thing called? The... Seeker. That's what it's called. It's a Seeker. Okay, I have to be honest. That mission was... It was scary. And it was challenging. But it actually seemed almost easier than the medium mission that I last played. Where I encountered this the mechtoid and the freaking cyber disc at basically the same time. Yeah. Huh. Operation Stone Sentinel. That's actually not an ominous name for once. Amazing. I'm actually really, really happy with how that went. That's That actually went very well. Excellent work, Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. I know, right? Council Medal of Honor. Lots of corpses. Bridget Lef... Lefevre? Lefevre? I don't know. Panic in France has decreased by three. Excellent. Be in touch, Commander. How's everyone else? Oh my fucking god. Well, at least France is happy. Unfortunately, Canada, Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, and Russia is not. A are not. Are, are not is the correct grammar on that one. I have so much meld, but I don't have a lot of money. And my satellite uplink is going to be done in one day. Alright, check out this metal. No, hold on. Oh, I've already... Oh, I already assigned the power to this one? I guess I did. Plus one aim and will for each mission completed with no soldier deaths up to a maximum of ten. Actually, you know, that'll actually basically end up being like a free scope. As far as the aim goes. Plus a will bonus, and without the critical hit chance. So in other words, it's just like a scope, but not really. 
should I give it to? Who should I give it to? Who should I give it to? Um, I want it on someone who gets on a lot of missions. Let's give it to Graves. You did really well this mission, Graves. This is for your valiant efforts. Oh, you can actually see the awards on their, their chest, can't you? Yeah. That's really cool. Still one that has not been unlocked. Hmm. So much meld. But again, I think I just need to wait for more money. How long until Arrow is back? One day. Oh yeah. Need to assign your stuff? My new assault that I don't really need because I already have two others. Alright. So I've gone with people that do more damage. I've gone with offensive assaults rather than defensive. Maybe I should change it up. Flush. I don't really need flush. Frankly, my... I forgot what it's called, but the ability the mechs have that destroy cover is basically like a super version of flush. So I don't really need it. Yeah, rapid fire is definitely better. I, I can't see myself going for a different build. Not really. I, I want to go for this mimetic skin, close combat specialist sort of thing. Someone who can get in and just do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing. I really don't want a defensive assault. It seems weird to have a defensive assault. Kind of seems like you know like let's. It's just not really their point. Um, lightning reflexes is nice. See, again, up close and personal is basically just like rapid fire. So I could take up close and personal, and then instead of rapid fire, take flush, but I don't really want flush. I mean, it doesn't, hap it doesn't hurt to have more flush. Because my mechs, when they use that ability that blows up cover, it takes up all their ammo. Or most of it. But, nah. Eh. I'm going to go for Lightning Reflexes and Rapid Fire again. And Close Combat Specialist once again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, and I'll customize you if I use you. I might not, because I already have two. Again, so much meld, but... No, great. Yep, 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 I know. Everybody's panicking. Oh my god, aliens! Satellite, satellite uplink will be done in three, two. What? Oh, fuck. And it's large. Great. <sighs> Can't I get an easy mission for once so I can use my damn arc thrower and train some newbies? Phoenix cannon. All right. Well, at least it's not someone who has the crappy avalanche missiles. I'm just gonna preemptively use my consumable. Enemy is padlocked. Yeah, I'm just gonna preemptively use my aim. Closing on time. Okay, I'm glad I used it because it's almost dead. Interceptor sustained heavy, uh, severe damage in the encounter. Ah, <sighs> it's a large scout, and I believe the size of the scouts is pretty much proportional to the difficulty. Large basically means difficult. Here we go. I didn't even get arrow back, did I? I don't think I did. Arrow? Nope. She, she needs like two more minutes. She has like, like her bruise isn't quite healed enough for her to be back on the force. She has a stubbed toe, but she's unfit for duty. 
All right. No, Ochner is back on the squad. Actually, is Ochner now a lower level than the person I just got from completing the last mission? No, you're on the same level. You look so badass with that. Well, okay. Maybe not badass. You look absurd with that backwards baseball cap. But kinda cool? Maybe? Alright, mechs are good. Every I mean, this is the same squad I had before. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the same stuff. I I'm not gonna train any new troops on this mission. Or should I? I could take one. Um, how about Spectre? What? Does Spectre have squad side? I think she does. Oh my god, you're only level two. You do have squad sight, though. Which honestly is the most important thing to have. And I don't think I'm going to need to do, do any crazy jumps. Because it's probably just another forest level. I'm assuming. Actually, it might not be. There's no reason to assume it's going to be a forest level. Uh... Oh. This is hard. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take Spectre. Sh she'll be fine. Back items available. Give her the right stuff. Laser. Scope. And Nanofiber Vest. Alright, you're all kitted out. Wait a minute! You can rotate the characters? I played the original XCOM for like 30 hours, and I played this one for like 10 to 15, and I've never known that you could rotate the fucking characters. I've tried like holding down left click on, on the character, right? And moving the mouse? No. Holding down right click. No, that oh, pressing right click just backs out. Even here. Like trying to do that doesn't work. Do the arrow keys work? No, the arrow keys don't work. Like this thing just switches between people? I thought you couldn't do it, but you can with the scroll wheel. The fucking scroll wheel. It's, re it's agonizingly slow, but you can do it. That's weird. It's practically a hidden functionality. I don't know why they didn't make it so you can't just drag, drag on the character like this. Like you do in every other game ever. Don't look at me, Spectre. I'm ashamed. Oh, you're actually going to stay like that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> she stays there. Why won't you look at me? What have I done to you? Alright. Laser, 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 railgun, railgun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And good to go. Oh, arrow has returned to active duty. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Happened while in route. Get ready oh. to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Yep, this one's in the forest. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. Uh huh. Operation Red Jester. That sounds horrible. What do you mean, Red Jester? This is no joke. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. This is Little Island, Little Island to Big Sky. Small ground, are you there? Let's fill out the map, that's the back. A little bit over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, this is huge. Also, this map is very large. This is fucking huge. Where's... Oh my god! I'm never gonna find the meld! Look at this! I'm moving... Yeah, look at this. Look at how long it takes me to get all the way to this side of the map. I'm constantly moving, constantly moving, constantly moving, and there it is. Dear god. Well, we can forget about the meld. Alright, Spectre. Don't let us down.
I want to sprint, but we might encounter the first enemies. Let's uh, let's throw punchy punchy up here. All right, we can sprint. We're good. I kind of need these guys up front because these mechs, if if they're not on the front line, they're damn near useless. Because if they're if they're not near the front, the kinetic strike and the flame doesn't do anything. So the only thing they can do is take horribly aimed normal shots or collateral damage, which is a very good ability. All right, she needs high ground. And cover. Uh, it's kind of far away, though. And unfortunately, she doesn't have the super fiber muscle density thing. So she can't jump up. Damn it, Spectre. You're already letting us down. You should have gene modded yourself. What, do you expect me to pay for it? Oh, I guess you should, probably. Because I'm kind of the commander? Yeah. Oh, it's a squirrel! I just saw a squirrel! Look! Squirrels! They're so cute! Oh, I can't zoom in, though. There's another one. That one just went through a rock. Huh. Maybe they've had gene mods, too. But who is their commander? Who is the commander of the squirrels? Seriously, where do I put you? I'm just gonna put you up there. But if you go up there, how you... She's just going to have to run back down because she doesn't have the muscle fiber density thing, so that's stupid. There's, there's no high ground I can really do here. Please don't discover enemies. Please don't discover enemies. Please don't discover enemies. Okay. Let's move okay. you up. Please don't discover enemies. Please don't... Okay. Ten four. Nine two. I could overwatch, but... Nah, I'll overwatch. He's literally the only person overwatching, so I guess we should get some of that. Okay. I guess my mechs really should go first, shouldn't they? This is a massive map. Man, if my sniper had muscle fiber density, she could get so much high ground. And they probably wouldn't even be able to get to her, unless there were special enemies like floaters or seekers. But most wouldn't even be able to get to her. She'd be safe, totally safe. Nah, I don't want to move her that far. You're in the flames, right? No. Does it hurt her to go through the flames? She's wearing a lot of armor. Maybe she'd be okay? Sí, señor. That's affirmative. I don't want everybody to dash, since I do want some covering... Covering Overwatch. I don't like half cover. Yes, sir. But, what are you gonna do? Bien fait. Man, we are just ripe pickings for a grenade, are we not? 
Right, you need to get into the fight. Let's move you there. Just don't step through the fire and the flames, please. Good. Blarg. I think we have some Draculas to fight. Ooh. Where is it? Somewhere very far away. I wish I had arrow. Or... I wish my assault had mimetic skin, because I could scout the hell out of this so good. It's so valuable to be able to figure out where the enemies are before it triggers them and they disperse and get, get into cover. Uh, it's probably going to reveal him. No. I've got to be like right back here. Alright, we should be able to safely move up then. In fact, I'm going to move yes, you here. Commander. Hopefully I don't regret that. Regret, 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 regret! No regret. Because I can just use my uh, jump boots to easily just pop over there. And everyone else can safely move up. Kinda. Kinda safely. Put you there. I'm not sure if I should rush up or just discover the enemies and then shoot them at, shoot at them from back here. Uh, I need my assault up in there. Yeah, let's put him here. I don't like having my units so close, but they're not going to be able to throw a grenade before I can have a chance to disperse my units, so it's fine. Alright. Hunker down, because you're in half cover. Everybody else is good. Overwatch. Overwatch. Your move. Or not. Let's take a look. Here we go. Ah, it's just a couple of floaters. Is that one in no cover? You're not even in cover, you idiot! Right, well that's a very good chance to kill that one, or I could destroy that one's cover. I could boot up here. Or I could move around here. Can you get a shot, Spectre? Spectre? No. That is a very good chance to hit two. No. Okay. Let's use you for this. Pretty much a guaranteed death. Yep. And let's deal with the remaining one. Oh yeah, you even have Bullet Swarm. Or Storm? Swarm. Let's destroy your cover. That is such a valuable skill. Being able to destroy cover. Now, maybe you can take another shot? No, you're too far away. In that case, I will... I can actually guarantee it's death with another collateral shot. Let's move you here. Let's see what his shot chance is. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Well, that didn't work. It is up to you. Heading there now. Uh, 
I could do rap. Nah. It'll be fine. Kill confirmed. All right, that's the end of the mission, right? Case closed. No. Damn. I can jump down from here, right? Yeah, they can jump down. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I'm ignoring the meld canister. Wasn't it this way? It was. Should I even focus on the meld canisters? Ah, fuck the meld canisters. Or should I? Eh. Eh. Eh, what do I do? I shouldn't. I should go for the meld canister. Yeah. Alright, start moving that way. It's such a big map that the chance of actually being able to defeat all the units before it ends... Uh, before the metal canisters disappear is pretty low. So I should secure the first one, because my chance of getting the second one is pretty low on these UFO missions. Let's just reload. Before we encounter more enemies. Sounds like freaking lions. It's gonna be mutons, though. Yep. Straight that way. You absolutely need to reload. But I should move you a bit first. Please don't discover enemies, please, because you have no ammo. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, fuck, we need to get there soon. But you need to reload. You have squad sight. Uh, I kind of want to leave her here. But that's awfully far away. Yeah, I'm going to move her up. At some point. Let's see where everyone else ends up. Moving to target location. We need to move there, like, now, if we want it. Like, I need to sprint like mad. That sort of now Yes sir We really do We got to move And since you have long legs, right? Where is it? Where is it? Aren't you the one with the more movement? Or was it not you? I thought he had the extra movement. It feels like he does. Well, whatever. Please don't discover enemies. Please don't discover enemies. Please don't discover enemies. Whew. I get flanked there. Let's move you there. I think it's better to be in half cover, half cover, than flanked. Actually, it's definitely undebatably better. I will sacrifice my height advantage for closer, for getting closer to the enemies, which are undoubtedly protecting the meld. Okay, so I can get to the meld. Wait, can I? Wait, fuck. Does that mean it's gonna disappear as soon as the next turn hits? Does that mean I can't get it? I think that means I can't get it. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm not gonna suicide to get the damn thing. Fuck the meld. 
I got 80. I'm good. Let's be cautious here. Scout it. Scout this out. See what we're facing. Uh, oh, it's the UFO. Well, let's hope the other meld canister is inside and not out here. My shotgun, dude. There you are. Ten four. Did he just run backwards for a second? I think he did. You're a very strange person, Ochner. I'm pretty sure you weren't trained to run backwards. I really need my mechs to be on the front line. Alright, well, I can't get it this turn. Even if I moved him up to here, he he can't interact with it. Because his turn would just end, so... If I get it next turn, great, but I probably can't. Don't want to delude myself. to be up here. Damn her lack of muscle fiber density. If only you had more fiber, Spectre. Just move here. It's not a great place to be. It's too, too frontline for my taste, but I'll roll with it. It's better to be closer to the front line in full cover than back a bit more, but in half cover. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Alright, Mel's probably going to disappear. Yep, there it goes. Well, at least the other one's inside of the UFO, so I have a chance in hell at getting it. Okay, where are you bastards? Come on. Stop teasing me. Going. At least the meld canister serves as nice full cover. Gotta see the pluses in things. Already there. He says that he takes like three seconds to get there, demonstrating that what he just said was false. Yeah, I just gotta sprint everybody here. And my sniper, who never seems to be in the right spot. Half cover, that's terrible. Let's put you here. Let's have one person on Overwatch. Yep, meld and enemies go hand in hand. Did you hear something? Let's take a peek. Hello! Can you... I think it just automatically disappears when you go through it. I can't seem to open it, though. I thought you could open these things. Or... 
Can I go through it? Yeah, yeah, I can. Strange. Okay. Here in some aliens. Looks like they're over in this section. Maybe I should enter from the outside. Yeah, let's move around the outside here, rather than all going in through one hole. I will move them up through here. My mechs are going to come in through here, and we'll come in through... the same hole, I guess? I... I guess. Yeah, it's fine. They, they can't see through there, so... They shouldn't surprise us. They should stay in their little compartment. And if there's any enemies outside, when I move my troops out here, the mechs can just pop out of cover and bash them in the face. Or burn them in the face. Whichever. I find both to be acceptable. God, we gotta sprint so much if we wanna have a chance at all at getting this meld. It's been so many turns. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Please don't discover enemies, please don't discover enemies. Good. Good, good, good. It's a bunch of half cover crap. Why did I do that? Why the fuck did I put him over there? I'm expecting there to be enemies here. Like, I was reacting as if there's gonna be enemies here, but I doubt there is. They're gonna be inside, bro. Yeah, this is the border. That was stupid. Corriendo. Yes, coriander. It's a very nice spice. Remember what I said about them not coming out of their compartments? Well, it turns out I was wrong. Fuck. 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 Okay. I can punch you in the back. That would guarantee your death. Which is all well and good. But I can probably kill you with my people out here as well. Maybe not. Hmm. Alright, I do that, but then, then his back is going to be exposed to two mutons that are hiding in full cover. Which is really not good. Hold on, can I blow everything up? You know, I'm supposed to be saving these parts. Like, I'm supposed to save... ...the stuff inside of a UFO. But... Eh, fuck it. All of my problems are now... ...partially solved. He looks angry. Unfortunately, it didn't quite hit over there, which I think might mean that the rocket slightly missed. Not sure. Who can you hit? 28%? Oh, it's still in full cover. That's why. Can you punchy punchy him? I'm not sure you can. Can you? I don't think you can get him from there. Plus, he'd just be shot in the back by the other one, which is not good. Uh, I could destroy its cover, which would also kill it. Hold on, can I flame? I could, but I'm not sure if the other one would be hit. The spread on that. Maybe. M might be able to get both. If he's right there, the fire would probably spread to the next one. I'm gonna try it. Because I know the other one's right there, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think I think that would work actually. Let's do that. I should kill one and hurt the other. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 Oh, it panicked. And it moved a little bit closer. 
I guess that's a good thing. And you I can punch. This is actually turning out perfect. And you I'm sure I can kill. Uh, Spectre needs the shot. Oh, she... Wait, seriously, you, you can't... Spectre, what's wrong with you? Is a tree in the way? I think the tree's in the way. Damn, I wanted to give her the experience, but I guess not. Oh, you don't have any movement points left. It's a surprisingly low chance to hit. I don't really want to move you up. Alright, um... I'm gonna move you here. Should give you an almost guaranteed chance to hit. Yep, you're dead. That's <laughs> so awesome. You need to get into the fight. You're completely useless back here. Uh, let's just do this first. Figure out where we stand after that. Actually, I don't even need to... Yeah, I don't need to go around the corner. I can just do this. Goodbye. <laughs> that is so awesome. Ah, oh, we're actually going to get the meld. Nice. Alright, we're way, 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 way too spread out. I need people to move up now. So, we're just going to sprint into position. Inspector, unfortunately, you kind of need to be in with everyone else, because this is a covered place, so you can't really just get high ground and hope to be able to shoot them. Alright, please don't surprise us while our pants are down. Good. Alright, we have, we have plenty of time to regroup before running for the meld canister, so let's just get everyone into position. If anyone can, can make it. Can anyone make it? You can make it. Ooh, this stuff's on fire. It might actually get destroyed next turn. Stuff just burns. Hmm. really know where to get good cover. That is in a good position for next turn. Yeah, this sucks. I guess this will... Yeah, this will be fine. Move my mechs into position. Don't want to go through just yet. Wait, you're gonna- oh fuck, you're gonna go on the inside! Okay, well, now we know. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> I thought he's gonna come around the outside and then I could take down the door, but yeah, it looks like there's no one in here. Unfortunately, I blew up all the cover. And there goes everything. It honestly seems like the UFO is probably clear. Judging by the fact that I'm not hearing alien noises. So there's probably just more aliens outside in the forest, I'm thinking. Alright, at least we got one. Just sweep the UFO. Oh, apparently mechs are incapable of opening doors. Even shield doors. I'm on my way. 
Yeah, I think the UFO's clear. Just moving people up, gonna check inside of here. Probably clear, but doesn't hurt to check. Oh, wait. Okay, it's either just inside of this room, or it's probably very far outside. Let's take a look. Hello! It's probably gonna be fucking Cyberdisc or something. Or it's gonna be like... Maybe it's gonna be a mech toy that's juggling a couple Cyberdiscs for fun, playing Frisbee with them. Throwing a Cyberdisc from one mech toy to another. We should make every attempt to capture one of those oh. creatures using the arc thrower. Doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. Nope. And we don't have an arc thrower because I'm not doing the main quest, so I'm just going to blow it to smithereens. I guess I could just punch it. Which is actually probably the best thing to do. Or I don't even need to do that, I could just do this. Killing these particular aliens gets us nowhere. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. Gets us nowhere. Objectives completed. Bullshit, it gives us experience. And it finishes the mission. Operation Red Jester was a grand success. I don't think we took a single point of damage, did we? I don't think we did. We didn't leave anything to chance, and it paid off. Excellent work, Commander. Why, thank you. Oh. Oh, you even got a nickname. Mona Checkmate Spectre. I don't even know why this is an option. Confers two bonus damage with pistols, or... Plus ten aim and plus ten defense against enemies at lower elevation. I mean... The pistol is a piece of shit. And damn good ground is basically... Like a super scope for snipers who should always have high ground, so... It's not even really an option. Hockner! Confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Have your armor increases the bonus. I wish that wasn't so vague. How, how much bonus health and exactly what armor gives you what bonuses? How would I even know? I don't know. We have medals available in the barracks, Commander. If you feel any soldiers merit an award. Wait, we do? I, I thought I gave it to someone. Superior healing medal. Huh. Heals 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Who's going to need the most healing? Who already has it? I'm not sure who has what. Can you give multiple... same awards? To the same person? I don't know, it's gotta be someone who's gonna take a lot of damage, though, so definitely not a sniper. Let's give it to Soul. There you go, Soul. This is for your amazing rocket, which has come in handy every single mission I've had you in, because it is amazing. Seriously, that rocket is so good. Anytime you're surprised by a large group of enemies, and you think, what's the solution to this? The answer is the rocket. Hold on. I just noticed something. Look at look at this. Right here. Where my mouse is. I think that's I think that's one of the soldiers telling another soldier a joke. And apparently she finds it very, very funny. 
I never noticed such cool little small details were just sitting back here. Now I want to stare closer. What what are they doing here? Looks like they're at the bar. Oh. There's there's Arrow exercising. And there's Izelli. Izelli and Arrow. Best friends. That's pretty cool. Your actual character models are actually just there in the barracks, just doing normal stuff. I'd never really paid attention to that. They're not generic models, they're actually your characters. Huh. Alright, once again, I have a lot of meld, but not a lot of money, and my satellite uplink is going to be done in about two seconds. So let's just do that. Oh, fuck. Can I not just build this satellite uplink, please? Please? Please, God? Exalt Operation Research Hack. Lost five days of research. Oh, lost four because the I have one laboratory which backed up some of the information. Well, apparently there's an exalt cell in France. Let's send someone in. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Um. Um. You know, I'm going to send the newbie in. Yeah, Bridget Lefevre. Bridget Coney Lefevre. I don't I really don't know how to pronounce that. No offense, but I don't want any of my already established troops in there. Because that's going to take them out of duty for a very long time. Arrowwood is the most suited for it. She's the best, without a doubt. But she's already been out of commission for far too long, so yeah, I'm going to send you. Who I haven't even customized yet. Let's customize you. Yeah, let's, let's grab the list. <laughs> What's your status? Uh, over. We're getting a lot of garbage on the line. You're not coming in clearly. Thank, thank you, Central. All right. Wait, can I? Oh, I can't even customize you. Can I custom? Hmm. Can I not customize you in this menu? If I leave this menu, is it going to, like, totally kill this exalt thing? Look, this is all grayed out. Wait, did... Did I just disappear? Hold on, fuck. No, I think... I think I can... Yeah, okay, we can come back to that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, here we go. Alright, the next... Viewer name on my randomized list of viewer names is... This is a great one here. Yep, that, that's exactly what it looks like. It is. It was one name and it was in all caps. There was no space. So it's not Gary space Warner. It was in all caps and it was... <laughs> and it was one thing, so... This person's name is going to be Bridget Gary Warner. Because apparently you're supposed to shout it. So, Bridget Gary Warner. You are the next troop. And you will be... What the hell? I'm going to make you English. I feel like I have almost no English speakers because I've just gone for... A lot of just foreign voices. So let's go for English. Solid copy. Good to go. Good to go. Yes, Commander. Just hit some random stuff and see what happens. That looks kind of cool. Let's get a different hair. There we go. That, that's the one. Hey, you're on a covert operation. If they can't, if you can't see them, because your view is obstructed by an absurd helmet, they can't see you. That's how it works. Let's go with that. Yeah, kind of a medium light blue sort of thing. 
All right, Bridget Coney, Gary Warner. This is your first mission. I'm just gonna have to shout your name every time. Gary Warner! Like, good job. You did a very good job. Gary Warner! I'm proud of you, Gary Warner! I'm gonna send you on this covert operation, Gary Warner! There you go. Have fun! Wait a minute. Can I give her... Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Don't have fun yet. You have shitty equipment. Two grenades. That's... Oh my god. They'd be a terrible loadout. Let's give you a vest and... Covert oh. operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in I... France. I didn't mean to press that. It's okay though. What else would I have given her? A med kit? It's not really important. You it's okay. You file that request directly with Dr. Valen. Although I'm not sure she'll be very open to the idea. Central, you realize I have no idea what you're talking about, right? You're, you're just sending me random radio chatter like you're talking on the wrong channel? Okay. Satellite uplink. Try number three. Ah. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Time to buy as many satellites as I can. Which is going to... Oh, actually, I was thinking they cost 100, but no. They actually cost a lot less now that I have so many workshops. So, I think I can fit three. Right? Insufficient funds. Oh. I'm three bucks short. It's time to rectify that. What should I sell? Uh, apparently I have 250 alien alloys. Which seems like far too much. Alright, I'll, I'll sell a couple of those. There we go. In 20 days time, we can... quell the panic in... three of the four places. Yep. Okay. Well, everything is going pretty well. No casualties. I'm buttoning down on training new troops, although unfortunately my missions have been too difficult to really get any good training for new troops, aside from Spectre, who got a nice a nice promotion. So prob whoops. I'm thinking the next thing to focus on is probably gene mods. Maybe I really want the muscle fiber density for Spectre and mimetic skin for my other assault. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna get next. Maybe that, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, everything is proceeding well. Very well. Alright, hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.